channel. So today I am continuing on with my top five series. So just to remind you, I am starting an entire series with my good friend Valerie from Blush Diaries. This is a collaboration together where we are going through all of our top five favorite beauty products in like every single category. So today's video is going to be primers and I will link Valerie's version of this video down below so that you can check it out and see what her favorite primers are. This will be really good because we have two totally different skin types. So mine is really oily slash combination. I have really dry cheeks, really oily T-zone, and she has really dry skin all over. So it'll be nice to see like the different primers for the two different types of skin. So I'm going to start with eyes. Um, I have eyes and face primers in this. So in no particular order, um, the first one I'm going to talk about is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. So this stuff is like magic if you have oily eyelids. So I have, I used to have really oily eyelids and now it doesn't even bother me anymore. Like I don't even notice that I have oily eyelids. And it's because of this right here. So this is in a little tube, it has a doe foot applicator and it goes on clear. Um, you put it on your eyelids, you rub it in, it doesn't even need any time to dry, it basically dries instantly. And this prevents your eyeshadow from creasing and it also like prevents your eyelids from getting really oily. Your eyelids, your eyelids, your eyelids from getting really oily. So on days when I'm feeling like I need a little bit more coverage on my eyelids, like if I have really red eyelids or if the veins are coming through, um, or if I'm going to be wearing my eyeshadow for a very long time, or if I want the colors to look super vibrant, then I use two eyeshadow primers. And I usually use these every single day together. So I'll put the NARS one on first, and then I'll go in with Max Paint Pot in the color Painterly. So this is basically a cream eyeshadow base. MAC makes these in a whole bunch of different colors, and you can wear these alone. You could wear these as an eyeshadow by themselves but they work great as a base or a primer for your eyes also. Next, moving on to face products. So I have two pore minimizing products, so I guess I'll talk about those first. So my first found love, and in fact the first primer that I ever used for my face, is the Benefit Pore Professional. So this stuff really makes your foundation look so much better. So this is like a little miniature version of it. It looks like this on your finger. But basically, it's like super silky smooth. It's almost like the, con the consistency or the texture of like, like a silicone feeling. And it has a really good scent to it. It has like a rosy scent to it. But it's kind of strong. So if you're sensitive to smell, then I wouldn't recommend this. But when you put this on your face, it fills in your pores. And it just, it makes your skin look so much better. If you're wearing a powder foundation, this makes it look flawless. If you're wearing a liquid foundation, this makes it look flawless. It's oil-free, it's lightweight, it's translucent, so when you put it on, it blends into your skin, there's no color to it. It's amazing, but the reason why I switched over to the second pore minimizing one is because this is, it's great, it's obviously in my top five, so I love it, but it doesn't do that well of a job at controlling your oils, it just kind of fills in your pores. So the second pore minimizing primer that I tried is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Pore Minimizing. Um, so this stuff, I have to say, I might like it a little bit better than the Professional. I don't know, I go back and forth, they're both great. But this does the same thing, it fills in your pores. This one doesn't have a scent to it, um, but this one is so much thicker. So if you're having like a really bad pore day, um, or if you are super oily, this one's a little bit more mattifying. This works a little bit better than the Professional. Um, but the thing with this is, is it can get kind of cakey, so you really have to like press it into your skin and like pull it out. So press it and pull it. In fact, both of the pore minimizing primers, you want to make sure you push it into your skin and you don't just swipe it all over. You want to push and then swipe, that way it actually fills in your pores. But both of these, I love them. I go back and forth. It's really hard to pick a favorite between these two. All right, last primer for me is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Oil-Free Facial Primer. So this stuff is quite pricey. It is like $55 for this bottle right here. But I know why it's so expensive, because it is amazing. So this stuff goes on, it has a little pump, it's very luxurious, it's in a glass bottle, and you really only need like one pump, so 
It's the first time I've used this one because it's a brand new bottle. But you put it on and you can see you rub it in and it almost has like this bluish tone to it, which goes away by the way, it doesn't stick around. But when you rub it into your face, one pump is all you need for your entire face. You rub it in, the blueness goes away, no scent, no scent to it, but this stuff makes my skin stay matte all day long, no matter what foundation I'm using. It also just leaves your skin feeling like super silky and just, there's something about it. I just, anytime I wear this, I feel like I'm always having a good skin day. Uh, plus it's mineral based, so it doesn't have a whole bunch of like silicone and like weird chemicals in it. It's just, it's good for your skin. Um, it's oil free, which is always a good thing for people with oily skin. And it really, really helps my skin stay matte, which is something as an oily skinned girl I look for. And this has been the only primer I have been able to find so far that I can truly, truly say 100% keeps my skin matte. All right guys, well those are my top five primers. Let me know down below what your favorite primers are. Eye primers, face primers, lip primers. I know there's even eyelash primers. Let me know so I can check them out and I can try them because I am up for everything. Make sure you check out Valerie's version of her favorite primers. I will link it down below for you. And I think that's about it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.